Hey guys, welcome to Science Learning Gateway. I hope you people are doing great. So today, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss some of the very important concepts from chemistry. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write the chemical formulas of the compound. Many of you find difficulty in writing the chemical formulas. Uh, this is specially for class 8, 9th and 10th standard students. As in 10th standard also in NCRT book, the first chapter is chemical reaction and equation. If we don't know how to write the chemical compound, how we will write the chemical re reactions. So let's learn how to write the chemical formulas of the chemical compounds. So before that, we will learn that uh, some of the formulas of the ions and the radicals which we will use in writing the chemical compounds. The first one is hydrogen. So what is the symbol of hydrogen ion? It is H+. plus. The symbol of hydrogen element is H but in the ionic ion form we will write it as H+. plus. In the same way sodium is written as Na+, plus because sodium has 11 electron in the outermost shell. Uh, sorry, the atomic number of sodium is 11. If we write its electronic configuration it will be 2, 8 and 1. This one electron which is present in the last shell is lost because sodium can easily donate this one electron to any other element. So sodium will acquire a plus 1 charge. That's why we used to write it as Na plus. Its valency is plus 1. In the same way, potassium will have K plus. Silver is having variable valency. So it occurs in Ag plus state also and Ag2 plus state also. Copper will also have variable valency. Cu plus and Cu2 plus. Magnesium's atomic number is 12. So if we write the electronic configuration, it will be 2, 8 and so this two electron will be lost so magnesium will acquire mg2 plus charge next we have calcium calcium's atomic number is 20 if we write the electronic configuration it will be 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 2 so this two electron will be lost by calcium and calcium will acquire a plus 2 charge in the same way zinc will acquire zn2 plus charge iron is having a variable valency so it occurs in plus 2 and plus 3 state Atomic number of aluminium is 13. Electronic configuration will be 2, 8 and 3. So aluminium will acquire Al plus 3 charge. Next we have lead. Lead, uh, lead appears, lead, lead will have a variable valency of Pb2 plus and Pb4 plus. Means sometime it will have plus 2 valency and sometime it will have plus 4 valency. Again we have tin. The symbol of tin is Sn, Sn and its valency is plus 4. Next we have a Chromium, the symbol of chromium is Cr and its valency is plus 3. And again we have a we have barium Ba and its valency is 2 plus. And at last we have nickel and its valency is plus 2. So these are some of the elements which you have to learn along with its valency so that you can write the formula of any of the compound. Now let's discuss some of the ions which we will use in writing the chemical compound. Okay. So now we will discuss the negatively charged ions. For example, chlorine. So chlorine will have a valency of Cl minus. Bromine in the same way Br minus and iodine also I minus. So these three are the halogens. They are from the halogen family. So they will have the same valency. Cl minus, Br minus and I minus. Again, oxygen's atomic number is 8. If we write electronic configuration, it's 2 comma 6. So two electron, it's need to, uh, to complete its octet to become stable. So oxygen will acquire a minus 2 charge. So we'll write oxygen as O2 minus. Next, sulfur again, it will acquire S2 minus as the atomic number of sulfur is 16. Ammonia. We used to write ammonium ion as NH4 plus. So you have to remember the formula of ammonium ion. It's NH4 plus. In the same way, we used to write hydroxide as OH minus. So, th so, the, so guys, please do remember the formulas of the given ions so that you will write. You can write each and every formula which will be asked in the exam. So, ammonium ion is NH4 plus, and hydroxide ion is OH minus. Next, we have nitrate. So, how we used to write nitrate? Nitrate is NO3 minus. NO3 minus. Next, we have bicarbonate so the symbol the formula of bicarbonate is hco3 minus hco3 minus bicarbonate bisulfate is hso4 minus see bicarbonate bicarbonate we have a carbonate ion co3 and along with that you have to add hydrogen so it will be bicarbonate hco3 minus and bisulfate Fight is HSO3 minus. Sorry, bisulfate is HSO4 minus and bisulfite is HSO3 minus. So, do remember the formula of bicarbonate, bisulfite, and bisulfate. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव एलुमिनेट आयन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एलुमिनेट आयन इज ए एल ओ टू माइनस इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर यू हैव दैट Uh, one of the name of the compound was given that sodium aluminate if if you don't know the symbol of aluminate and how will you write the formula of sodium aluminate right so you should remember the formula of aluminate ion it's alo2 minus next we have permanganate mno4 minus permanganate is mno4 minus next we have a sulfite ion sulfite ion is so3 2 minus so3 2 minus sulfate is so4 2 minus see we have written for bisulfite it was hso3 minus and bisulfate was hso4 minus in the same way we have sulfite as so3 2 minus and sulfate as so4 2 minus carbonate ion is very easy i think most of you know the formula of carbonate ion it's co3 2 minus co3 2 minus next we have dichromate that is cr2 o7 2 minus cr2 o7 2 minus dichromate see di so we have two chromium ions cr2 o7 2 minus zincate zn o2 2 minus as we have aluminate in the same way we have zincate zn o2 2 minus plumbite is pb o2 Two minus plumbite is PbO two two minus phosphate. That is also important. So it's PO four three minus, and the last one is nitrogen occurs in the form of N three minus. So these are some of the radicals and the ions whose symbols and formula you should remember to write the chemical compound. Now let's see how we have to write the chemical com com um uh, how we have to write the chemical formula. So let's learn that. Suppose I want to write the formula for sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. so guys chloride so what is the symbol of sodium ion it's na plus and what is the symbol of chloride ion it's cl minus we can check that in that list chloride chlorine ion is given over there and sodium you can check in the in the last slide so na plus and cl minus you can see that the charge which is written at the top is equal and opposite right so we can cancel out both the charges and the final formula which we will get is nacl so we have got the formula for sodium chloride in the same way suppose i want to write the formula for magnesium chloride magnesium chloride magnesium chloride see the formula of magnesium ion is mg2 plus and for chloride it's cl minus so now we will exchange the valencies two will come at this side and one will come at this side so we will get the formula as mgcl2 in this case we don't have equal valencies so what we have to do we cannot cancel it out we will exchange the valencies and we will get mgcl2 suppose you want to write the formula for aluminum chloride aluminum chloride so aluminum we used to write like this al3 plus and chloride we used to write as cl minus so now again we will exchange the valency and we can write it as alcl3 now we are getting the formula for alcl3 that is aluminum chloride now suppose you want to write the formula for sodium carbonate for sodium carbonate you you should know the formula for sodium ion na plus and carbonate ion is co3 2 minus you can check that in the list this is for carbonate ion now what we have to do since the charges are not equal at the top we will exchange the charges we will exchange the valencies and what we can write na2 co3 and one thing you have to remember that when you are exchanging the valencies you don't have to mention the plus and minus charge at the bottom only you will write the number that is na2 co3 so this is our sodium carbonate now suppose i want to write the formula for potassium sulfate potassium sulfate sulfate so potassium we used to write as k plus and for sulfate ion what is our formula for sulfate ion we have to use the formula as so4 2 minus so4 2 minus since the charges are not equal what we have to do we have to exchange the valencies so what formula we will get we will get k2 so4 so this is our potassium sulfate now suppose you want to write the formula for uh, sodium nitrate okay for sodium we will write na plus and for nitrate ion we will write no3 minus you can check that from the list now see plus and minus charges are equal and opposite so they, this will be cancel out and we will get the formula as nano3 so this is our sodium nitrate 
okay now suppose we want to write the formula for sodium aluminate or yeah sodium aluminate sodium aluminate so our formula for sodium ion is na plus and aluminate ion let's check take this from the list our aluminate ion is alo2 minus alo2 minus so see we have equal and opposite charges so this can be cancelled out and final formula which we will get over there is NaAlO2 so this is our sodium aluminate I hope you are it's clear to you that how we have to write the formula now suppose uh, we want to write the formula for uh, barium chloride barium chloride Barium we used to write it as Ba2 plus and chloride we used to write it as Cl minus. We have to exchange the valencies as it is not equal. So we will write as it is as BaCl2. Now suppose you want to write the formula for calcium carbonate that is chalk or marble. Then how we will write the formula for calcium carbonate? Calcium is Ca2 plus and carbonate is CO3 2 minus. See the charges are equal and opposite. So they will be cancelled out and you will get a final formula as CaCO3. So this is our final formula for calcium carbonate. Now suppose you want to write the formula for manganese. Uh, suppose you want to write the formula for mang uh, potassium permanganate. For potassium we used to write it as K plus and our permanganate ion is MnO4 minus. So this will be cancelled out and you can write it as KMn. O4. So this is our final compound for potassium permanganate. So see you have to write the formulas like this. The only thing is that you have to learn the symbols of the ions in the radicals. Then you can write the formula of any of the given. Suppose in the exam they will ask you that when barium chloride reacts with man, uh, reacts with uh, hydrogen. Okay barium chloride reacts with hydrogen what product you will get maybe this type of question can come or maybe when uh, you can get a question like this that when silver nitrate reacts with copper what compound you will get you should know the formula for silver nitrate copper then only you can write the reaction so for that you should know the how to write the formula for chemical compound suppose we want to write the formula for silver nitrate ag plus and no3 minus so this equal and opposite charges can be cancelled out and we can get ag no3 I hope you guys have uh, got this concept that how to write the formulas of a chemical compound. If you have any difficulty, you can comment in the comment box. Again, uh, I will make a new video for you all so that you can clear this, clear the confusion, whatever you have. But there, suppose now I have to write the formula for sodium hydroxide. So that is very easy. Sodium is Na plus, and our hydroxide ion is OH minus. We have equal and opposite charges. So this will be cancelled out, and we will get NaOH. So this is our sodium uh, hydroxide. In the same way, suppose you have to write the formula for magnesium sulfide. So magnesium ion is Mg2 plus, and your sulfide ion is SO3 2 minus. So the charges will be cancelled out and you will get MgSO3. So this is your magnesium sulfide. I hope it's clear to you all. So guys, if you find this useful, then please do comment in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, then please do subscribe my channel. And if you, if you want the basic concepts of chemistry from any other topics, like for example, how to learn the atomic number, how to write the valencies, of an, on how to write the electronic configuration, how to balance chemical equation, then do comment in the comment box. I will make a video for you all. So thank you for watching. If you find this information useful, then do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.